is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, the 19th of February, 2021. It's the birthday of Carson McCullers, born Columbus, Georgia, 1917, author of The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, a member of The Wedding, and other books. It was on this day, 1942, President Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which authorized the removal of any or all people from a military area as deemed necessary by the military. It was a few weeks after Japan had bombed Pearl Harbor, and people on the West Coast, particularly California, felt vulnerable. There was an outcry to do something about the resident aliens from Japan who lived on the West Coast, and Roosevelt told his Secretary of War to execute the order as reasonably as possible. But the president didn't take much active interest in just how it was carried out. And as a result, the military designated most of the West Coast to be a military area. And over the course of the next several months, some 120,000 people, more than half of them American citizens, were sent to internment camps. The order was eventually rescinded December 1944. People were released. The camps were shut down. And in 1981, the Commission on Wartime Relocation and Internment of Civilians concluded that the executive order was a grave injustice that had resulted from race prejudice, war hysteria, and a failure of political leadership. It's the birthday of the physicist Svant August Arrhenius, born in Vik, Sweden, 1859, who presented a paper to the Stockholm Physical Society in 1895 showing that global temperatures were tied to increases and decreases in carbon dioxide and that the burning of fossil fuels was a cause of increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. He's considered to be the first scientist to examine the effects of industry on global warming. It's the birthday of the novelist and poet Stephen Dobbins, born in Orange, New Jersey, 1941, author of many books, Cold Dog Soup, Eating Naked, and others. Stephen Dobbins, who said, writing is a job, a craft, and you learn it by trying to write every day and by facing the page with humility and gall. And you have to love to read books, all kinds of books, good books. You are not looking for anything in particular. You are just letting stuff seep in. And it's the birthday of the writer Siri Hustvet, born in Northfield, Minnesota, 1955, author of numerous works of fiction and the memoir The Shaking Woman, A History of My Nerves. Siri Hustvet, who said, Great books are the ones that are urgent, life-changing, the ones that crack open the reader's skull and heart. Here's a poem for today by Ron Paget, The Best Thing I Did. The best thing I did for my mother was to outlive her, for which I deserve no credit, though it makes me glad that she didn't have to see me die. Like most people, I suppose, I feel I should have done more for her. Like what? I wasn't such a bad son. I would have wanted to have loved her as much as she loved me, but I couldn't. I had a life, a son of my own a wife, and my youth that kept going on maybe too long. And now I love her more and more, so that perhaps when I die, our love will be the same, though I seriously doubt my heart can ever be as big as hers. Ron Paget's poem, The Best Thing I Did, from his collection, How Long, published by Coffee House Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.